Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. When did you get on here today? I'm kind of excited about this video. Well, I'm really excited about this video. I saw it last night on Jessica Braun. She did it and she said she got it from Andrea Montiano. <laughs> so we're passing this idea around. This is products that I just can't get rid of. I don't use them. I even cleaned some of them out in a cleanup. So I guess that's kind of admi an admission. I cleaned it out in a cleanup and I kept it. Can't get rid of them. So I'm gonna jump right into this because I've got quite a few of those, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna start with two foundations. These have been sitting over in a basket forever. I can't get rid of them. I don't like them for one reason or another. They kind of go on the same. The L'Oreal Lumi doesn't cover enough for me and it just doesn't look right on me. Me and L'Oreal love each other, but their foundations they just don't work for me. And then the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. I think this was too luminous and not enough cover. Both of these, y'all, I just cannot throw them out. I'm like, I should just try those one more time. Every time I hear that somebody else likes them, I'm like, yep, I'm trying this again. And I've tried them. They don't work for me. Okay, next, and I cleaned these out, y'all. Any any spray. It irritates my eyes. They just don't work for me. And I've got the matte prep and prime. If I do want to use something to depowder myself, these sit over in my drawer and do not get used. The Urban Decay Chill Spray, it's almost gone. I finally just had to give it up though because even if I cover my eyes and I try to keep it away from them, they just get irritated. And then the Cover Effects Mattifying Setting Spray. I think I keep thinking I'll spray this on a beauty blender and dabbing my face. I just, I'm not patient enough. I won't do it. So they sit over there and I just don't use them. And if I want to de-powder myself, I've got the event O thermal spring water, but I still didn't throw these out. And I really can't tell you I will. I don't know if I will or not. I don't know if I can throw any of this stuff out. The Benefit Rocketeur. I love this color. I love it. Melissa55, this is her holy grail. It looks good on her. Every time I see her in it, I'm like, I'm going to use that again. It does not look as good on me as it does on Melissa55, I will tell y'all. It just kind of blends in. It doesn't really stand out enough. Beautiful on Melissa, not so much on me, so I keep it back here in my closet in my backup drawer. I keep thinking I'll find the perfect blend for it, like maybe mix it with something else. I can't. I still probably won't. Okay, I just cleaned this out in a cleanup, and I still have it sitting on my desk. MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiant Space Lumiere, and this is in Radiant Rose. When I used this, this made me oily all over my face. I don't even like to be luminous anymore with a primer. I've got the Becca backlighting that's beautiful if I do want to be luminous. I have the L'Oreal Lumi if I do want to be luminous. And I'm going matte. I do think I can throw this out though. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, this one has been sitting in my drawer. The Milani eyeshadow primer. I keep thinking I need to give that more of a chance. I can't tell anything when I use this. And, okay, my Smashbox is over there for another video. My Smashbox eyeshadow primer, why am I going to use anything else? It is the best thing I've ever tried. Hangs on to eyeshadow, but I keep thinking I need a drugstore. But when I use this, I can't tell a difference. I know people love this. That's why I keep it. I'm like, everybody loves it. I should love it too, but then I don't. I try it and it just doesn't do anything for me. I haven't said much because I'm like, I know I'm wrong. It just never does anything for me, y'all. Okay, my next thing is a L'Oreal blush. And I love L'Oreal blushes. And I haven't, this is way too neutral for me, but I cannot make myself throw out a L'Oreal blush. I keep thinking I'll use it as a bronzer. And I have bronzers to last me through the next 15 years. This never gets used, so it's just sitting there. Maybe I'll give this to somebody. This is barely blushing, and it barely shows up on me. So maybe I'll get this out and focus on it as a bronzer. Look, I'm talking like I'm going to clean it out. I didn't clean it out before. I don't know if I'm throwing it out. It's hard for me to throw out a L'Oreal blush. Okay, next. I cleaned this one out in a clean out. The Lancome Effacerns. I loved this. All through the 90s and the early 2000s, I loved it. I would touch up with it, and it just made me flawless. And I know people that love this, but it just does not cover enough on me anymore. But I can't make myself throw it out because I think, okay, maybe, maybe it'll work next time. And so I'll occasionally get it out and try it again. It just doesn't work on me. Maybe I just need too much help for the Effacerance anymore. I just loved it for so long, and it's Lancome. I love Lancome. Okay, the next thing I cleaned out the clean out too. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightener. 
this made me shiny. And you know what? This was in Jessica Bronze too. That's why I thought I should do that. It just makes me shiny. I don't know if it's the pot or the brand. I don't like to throw Becca away. I love me some Becca. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I may try it again. Okay, next. This was a fail for me. The Juvia's Place. I know why I haven't thrown this out because look at those colors. The reds down here and this one over here and that white. But I heard somebody else say they left this last week. Got it out and tried it again and it still didn't work for me and I still have it. Doesn't blend out right on me. I just need to toss this. It it does not work on me. The pigment is fine if I use it over Smashbox, but it still doesn't blend out that great. I just put it on, it just kind of falls flat. I don't know, but I still don't want to throw it out. Okay, next, the Anastasia Prism. I've never cleaned this out in the clean out, but I probably will. These colors just do not work on me. I'm never going to use those colors. I have proven it time and again. I don't use those colors ever. I was even going to do a get ready with me with this when I first got it. And I was like, I can't even get a look together with it. Well, I really, I really feel like I've seen some beautiful looks with this. Not for me. <laughs> I need to clean it out, but I haven't thrown it out yet. If I get my Anastasia's out, I get out my subculture and I get up my modern renaissance. I get this up together. And sometimes I get this little guy out and he still just sits there open. He still doesn't get used. Okay, next. My Lorac palettes. Okay, let me just tell you, if you are new here, these are a challenge for me. I'm determined to use these because my daughter loves them. And other people on YouTube love it. All that beauty with Lori loves these. People love these. They use them like it's nothing. I cannot use Lorac shadows. They fall out on me. I can't get them blended. It takes me an hour and a half to get my eyes done when I use a Lorac. I've given half of them away. I used to have them all. I still hang on to these. They never get used. Never. And now that I have my Morphe's, these will never get used because my Morphe's are seamless. 10 minutes, a perfect eye look with my Morphe's. These will never get used. I might need to do a collab with somebody that's good with these. All That Beauty with Lori teaches Kathy how to use Lorac. Next, I threw this out in a clean out. The Revlon Youth Effects Concealer. I just, the sponge, this is dirty as all get out, but look at that sponge. That looks perfect. Perfect shape and size to go under your eye. This did not cover on me, but I want it to work so bad. I keep thinking, oh yeah, I'll go back to that. I will go back to that. It's going to work for me next time. Maybe with the NYX color corrector. Yeah, I've had this for months. It hasn't gotten used. I think that I got this in a drugstore haul. It just didn't work for me. And with my shape tape and my NARS in the pot, I don't know why I think I'm going to come back to any other concealer that doesn't work for me. Okay, next, the NARS Torrid. I bought two of these. I bought the Torrid and I bought the Orgasm. I think I, clean, I think I threw this out in a clean out. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to force myself, even though it's harder. It's beautiful, but it takes more time. I'm impatient. But this Torrid is too orange on me. I cannot make myself throw out something NARS. I know that's what it is. It's because it's NARS. And I was so enamored with these liquid blushes that take me a minute and a half longer. And so I never use them. Even in the summer, when I was darker. This did not get used, but I keep hanging on to it. I don't know. This is the Kenra Thickening Spray. This does nothing for my hair. It does not thicken it. It doesn't hold anything. This is a wasted step on me. If you love this, let me know how you're using it because I would love to use this. It's halfway gone because I used to just force myself to use it. So I've tested it out. It's almost gone, but I never use this. It just sits there because I think next time it'll thicken. Maybe next time it'll do, you know, better. And those are the main things that I'm hanging on to. And they kind of give me fits. They torture me, especially those Lorac eyeshadows. <laughs> those torture me daily. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.